I just got through talking for like 25 minutes and I know better because what happens is in iMovie, the longer the video, the more likely it's going to be out of sync. And I forget until I go to edit and then it's like, damn it. So rather than re or jack around with the audio trying to sync it up and it never actually does quite sync up, I'm going to make it again. So here it is. I've been walking in the neighborhood trying to, you know, get out there and exercise uh, because it's the weather's nice and I, I need to get my ass in gear and move. So I've been walking and uh, I have noticed not whilst walking, but, uh, you know, driving and then uh, observing this guy walking uh, from my window out outside. Um, there's a very tall, skinny old man that w walks the neighborhood almost every night. Um, and I thought, you know, great for him, an old man. He's very tall. I would say um, pushing seven feet tall. He's very skinny too. Um, and he, he walks with a cane, which is more than several inches too short for him. So it doesn't actually touch the ground. And when he does get it to touch the ground, he's got to lean over and, and walk. And, you know, I think, oh, I should get him a cane that you know he can use. And um, his, his clothes are kind of threadbare and he always wears a hat, a big floppy hat. And, um, you know, walks the neighborhood. And I always thought, you know, like, good for him. Great. Um, and then this past week I was out uh, walking and... I see him walking toward me, which is the first time I'd actually been up close and personal. Um, we walked by and, and said hello and um, realized that he didn't look like an old man at all. He looked like a young man dressed up as an old man, which immediately kind of creeped me out. And maybe it really is an old man um, that has fantastic skin for someone who's old. but. I don't know. It just, it looked like he was an old man makeup and it, it was weird and kind of creepy. And he, and I said, hello. And he just, he didn't, you know, he just kept walking, which up until that point, everyone I've said hello to says hello back. So that, that was a little, you know, I don't know. It was just weird. And, um, I rarely ever get this with people very occasionally. Um, and I get it with places more than people. Have you ever gone into a place and um, there's something off about it, creepy, kind of gives you the creeps? Um, I've been to places where I, I just get this bad vibe or something. I, I, don't, I can't put my finger on it, but I'm like, I got to go. And it just creeps me out. And I, I just have to go. And, and walking next to him, I got that weird, creepy feeling. Uh, so I don't, I don't know what his story is, but I, I just immediately got the creeps. And I don't know if it's just because... I realized that he wasn't exactly what I had, you know, pictured him to be, or, or, or what. But, um, yeah, I just found him very disturbing. And I thought I would share it with you because Chuck's playing in a bag. I did have lunch with my mom today for my birthday. It's my birthday's next Saturday, but she's going to be out of town, so we had lunch today. And uh, a few weeks ago, I was talking to her on the phone about um, someone on Facebook had posted a quote from Irma Bombeck, and I wrote back, "Oh, you know, I've read her books. I, I enjoyed them back in the day, and um, you know, just I just enjoy reading them, and I would like to read them again as an adult because a lot of them had to do with." parenting, although I'm not a parent, so that part hasn't really changed. Uh, but I just think as an adult, I might, I might, uh, enjoy them more. I don't know. So I was just mentioning to my mom that I might go on Amazon and, um, get a book or two just to, to see if, uh, I enjoyed them again. And, um, so after lunch, she says, I have a bag for you. And, and I went to the car and it was all of Irma's books that my mom had. She has 10 of them. And yeah, you know, this one, if life's a bowl of cherries, what am I doing in the pits? Um, I don't know if you don't know Irma Bombeck. She died, oh gosh, in the 90s. Her last book, I think, came out in 93, maybe. And she died, I don't know, sometime shortly after that. I don't know. 
pulling that out of my ass. Um, anyway, I loved her books. I loved her way of writing. She was funny, and you know, I liked the. There was one. I don't remember which book it was in. Now she's talking about family vacations, and I think she had four children, and so I could relate to some of the stories in terms of the travels and and whatnot. And she just had a great way of. Uh, of writing and, and telling stories and I think she was a columnist and then started putting them in books but if you ever get a chance Irma Bombeck anyway she was a she's a fun read and I'm looking forward to going back and um, looking through some of these old books uh, it was a nice surprise I, I didn't expect my mom to give me these so um, it was great I don't know if these are all of her books or not I'm gonna go on Amazon and see what's left I have 10 so we'll see if she wrote any more than that all right well that's all I have I just wanted to come on again and say hello. Bye.